This is Zhi Wei Jiang from Nanjing University. I will present our work about one shot automated AC scoring. This work is done together with Meng, Yafeng, Hua, Zifeng, and Qing. The outline of this talk includes four parts. Introduction, our method, experiment, and conclusion. Automated essay scoring aims to summarize the quality of a student essay with a score or grade. It is commercially valuable and have been deployed in large-scale standardized tests, such as TOEFL, GMAT, and GRE. Usually, the student essays in a test were written in response to a target prompt or topic. The objective of AES is to rate the unlabeled ACEs based on the labeled ACEs. Research on AES have spent the last 50 years. Traditional AES methods mainly rely on various handcrafted features. Recently, with the development of deep learning technology, many models based on LSTM and CNN have been proposed. These models can automatically learn the features of ACES and achieve better performance than traditional methods. However, to train an effective neural AES model, it often needs a large number of manually scored ACES for model training, which is labor intensive. To this end, some recent work considers using the scored ACEs on the other prompts to alleviate the burden of manual scoring under the target prompt. But due to the difference among prompts such as score range, topic, and difficulty, this cross-prompt method often performs worse than the prompt-specific method. There are some recent studies focusing on this line and work. In our work, we consider another way without using data from other prompts. Instead, we only need the one-shot labeled assets in the target prompts. Given a sense of access towards a target prompt, we consider the one shot scenario, that is, only one manually scored access per distinct score is given. In practical writing tests, scoring staff usually evaluate the access by first designing a criterion specific to the current test and then applying the criterion for essay scoring. To alleviate the burden of scoring staff, we expect to firstly let the scoring staff express their criterion by one-shot manual scoring, and then use a specially designed AES model to score in the rest assets based on the one-shot data. One-shot AES is a challenging task since the one-shot label data is insufficient to train an effective neural AES model. To solve this problem, our intuition is whether we can augment the one-shot label data with some pseudo label data and then perform model training on the augmented labeled data. Obviously, there are two challenges. One is how to acquire the pseudo labeled data. And the other is how to alleviate the disturbance brought by error pseudo labels during model training. To address these two challenges, we proposed a transductive graph based ordinal distillation framework for one-shot automated assay scoring. T 
TGOD is designed based on a teacher-student mechanism and contains three main components, teacher model, student model, and ordinal distillation. Specifically, we employ a transductive graph-based model as a teacher model to generate pseudo-mode labels. To alleviate the disturbance brought by error pseudo-labels, we select the pseudo-labels with high confidence to improve the quality and proposed an ordinal aware unimodal distillation strategy to tolerate the shooter labels with minor errors. Next, I'll introduce these modules one by one. As shown in the figure, the teacher model is a graph-based label propagation model and consists of three components, multiple graph construction, label propagation, and label gazing. Among them, multiple graph construction models the relationship among assets from multiple aspects. The labelhood graphs can be constructed based on various word embeddings such as word to work, glove, ammo, and bird. Label propagation is used to spread labels from the one-shot axis to unnaved axis. Neighbor gazing can generate the pseudo labels of unnaved axis from the result of multiple graph propagation by averaging the label distribution. As shown in the figure, the student model is an ordinal aware neural network model and consists of two main components. AC encoder and the ordinal classifier. Among them, AC encoder is used to extract the feature embedding of the input AC. By viewing AES as an ordinal classification problem, ordinal classifier can predict the unimodal label distribution on the predefined scores for each input AC. As shown in the figure, ordinal distillation aims to distill the pseudo label knowledge of a teacher model into the student model and consists of three main steps neighbor selection, unimodal smoothing, and unimodal distillation. Among them, neighbor selection selects high confidence pseudo labels for later distillation. Unimodal smoothing enforces the label distribution of a pseudo label to be a unimodal probability distribution. Unimodal distillation minimizes the KL divergence between the predicted label distribution of student model and the unimodal smoothed label distribution of a teacher model. In summary, there are two steps in TGOD to train the student model under the one-shot setting. First, generating pseudo labels of unlabeled assets by running the teacher model, and then training the student model by ordinal distillation. We conduct the experiment on the public dataset ASAP. It is a widely used benchmark dataset for the task of automated assay scoring. In ASAP, there are eight sets of assays corresponding to eight different prompts. To evaluate the performance of AES method, we employ the QWK as the evaluation metric, which is the official metric of ASAP dataset. The QWK can be used to measure the agreement between the automated predicted score and the resolved human scores. As shown in the table, we compare our model with other baseline models on the two settings, one-shot setting and one-shot plus 
history prompt setting. Besides, for our TGOD framework, we implement a baseline that replaces the ordinary well unimodal distillation with linear regression. We can see the best performance is mostly achieved by our TGOD framework and using different ASA encoders. This indicates that TGOD is effective for one short ASA scoring. Besides, by observing TGOD, we can find the performance of the teacher model with the full graph is an average QWK of 0 0.613. Based on which the student model can greatly outperform the teacher model. This indicates that the design of learning from graph propagation is effective for one short essay scoring. Then we explore the effects of the component designed specific to one short setting by removing each of them from TGOD individually. These components include label selection, unimodal smoothing, and ordinal classifier. As shown in the table, after removing one of them from TGOD, the performance decreases a lot. This indicates that all of the three components are important to TGOD. Finally, we analyze the effect of the one-shot labeled data and the graph construction on the performance of TGOD. As shown in figure A, by comparing the blue boxes and the green boxes, we can find that the student OCLF is more robust to the selection of one-shot data than student REG. As shown in the figure B, by observing the line of average with black color, the overall performance of TGOD shows an upward trend. And the performance on the 10 short level data has an improvement of about 0.03 compared to that on the one short level data. As shown in figure C, by observing the black line, we can find that its end point is higher than that of the other lines in most cases, regardless of the position of starting points. This indicates that combining multiple graphs for label guessing is an effective way to provide pseudo labels with stable quality and thus improve the performance of the student model. As shown in figure D, we can find that all the nice shows a trend that goes up first and then keeps stable after the ratio of about 0.3. This indicates that 30% unlabeled assets are enough to run the teacher model and generate pseudo labels for our TGOD framework. In this work, we aim to perform assay scoring on the one shot setting and propose the TGOD framework. The TGOD framework has no limitation on the architecture of a student model. Thus, can be applied to many existing neural AES models. Experimental results demonstrate the effectiveness of the proposed TGOD framework for one short assay scoring. In the future, we will try to improve the performance of a teacher model and a student model by co training or self supervised learning. Thank you.